Hi guys, we're back out at the seventh hole of the new course and uh, Derek and I have taken out, uh, we've got some new products that have been arriving in store recently. We've got the new TaylorMade M1, which is available in a 460cc head and a 440cc head, uh, with the 440cc being a little lower spinning. So for any of you, you guys out there that maybe hit the ball a little bit too high or the stronger player, better player, slightly smaller head, takes a little bit of spin down, maybe keeping it a little bit lower in uh, ball flight for those windy days. Um, so we've got the two, we've got the last year's M1 here um, and the new model here. So you can see a little bit of cosmetic changes um, from the top. You can see very similar, um, but the main changes really are down here on the bottom. Uh, the new one here, they've, they've uh, put in some more carbon composite actually now into the toe end of the, the club. And from that, with the weight, they're able to sort of move that weight to other areas in the club to make it a far more stable driver. They've also sort of moved and uh, widened the um, the weight chambers here. So again, here we can control um, height and spin um, with the low and high set trajectory. So in this one, I've got the set back in the high position to help get the ball launching a little bit higher. I can also do the opposite and, and keep the spin down and get that hang at lower depending on my, my own ball flight. Again, we've got a drawn fade setting there as well. So I, I've got adjustability, just like the old one, um, to move the ball left and right or, or sort of straighten out a slight sort of draw or fade if it's uh, if it's bothering me so again as we're saying very similar look from above and um, so what we're just going to do is we're just going to hit some balls and just put these to the test and see what we think so give us a second first shot in a couple of months here so no pressure Yeah, I'll take that one. So here's the launch monitor. Again, for those of you that uh, haven't seen it before, this is the Foresight Sports GC2 launch monitor. You might have seen them use it on Sky Sports before. And um, so what this does is it tells us all about what the golf ball is doing. So along the top there, that's the speed of the ball leaving the club face, which is actually pretty good for me considering. And uh, my launch angle about 10 and a half degrees, which is a good sort of trajectory for lossy mouth. Uh, sometimes looking at getting that maybe up between 12 and 14 for your average golfer. We've got the amount of spin, side spin, which is pretty neutral there, and my backspin. So the important ones there are really my launch angle and the backspin that I put in the ball. So 1500 is very low. Uh, normally we're looking to get people somewhere in between two and 3000 would be uh, suitable. Uh, generally the higher the, um, the higher the speed that we're generating um, with the ball, um, you can see that I've got 1500 spin, which is probably a little bit low, but again, very good at keeping the ball under the wind. A lot of those people who find that they hit the ball very high, a lot of the time it's not really anything to do with the launch angle or how high you launch the ball. Even the loft on the club, it's, it's a lot of the time it's to do with the amount of backspin that the ball has on it. And that's what causes the ball to rise and get out of control into the wind. So you can see there, not bad, 280 carry. I wish I could do that on the golf course. Um, so, yep, certainly the numbers there, as I say, with, with what it's supposed to do, it's been very good last year, um, and again, a good addition, I think, this year, keeping that kind of nice sort of uh, carbon composite crown, the white and the black together, a uh, few subtle changes there, just again, making it a little bit more stable, a little bit more adjustable for the better player, um, and certainly the numbers there, I'd be pretty happy, and I think I'd be putting the 460 in the bag for myself, so, uh, as I say, got all the demos and things, Fairwoods, hybrids in the shop, if you want to come down and try them, uh, watch out, we will be putting on a, a little fitting event for you to come along and uh, try out the product and Derek and I will be available to, to give you some advice on that. Okay, again, we'll see you next week uh, for next week's vlog. Thanks.